anywhere in the spine is slightly ridiculous. <laughs> Does anyone know why? Right, we're going to pretend that the movement's happening in a single point. That makes no sense, right? Um, so some of the other tools that we have don't make that assumption, and they might be a little bit more valid for measuring motion in the air. But some people still measure with a goniometer, so I will show you that. Okay? So I'm going have you look straight ahead for me. It's important, that, it's important that they are in unsupported sitting with a nice straight posture. Some of you have played with range of motion, and it really has an impact on where their spine is. So generally you want their ear over their shoulders, the shoulders over their hips would make a nice straight line and that would be how you'd know that you're lined up. For uh, flexion and extension, the uh, stationary arm needs to be perpendicular to the ground. The mm -hmm. axis is going to be the earlobe and the, um, the moving arm is going to line up with the nose, the nostril of the nose, okay? So if I was going to stick it right on him like that, I would be there. So I'm starting at 90 degrees. Now I'm going to have you go ahead and what I'd like you to do is bring your chin and tuck it down to your chest. Okay? okay. And go ahead. Good. All right, you come on back up. So he went 10, 20, 30, 40 degrees, 39 degrees. All right? So for extension, it would be the same thing. So now what I'd like you to do is sit up nice and straight, and I want you to tilt your head back looking up at the ceiling. Okay, that's just kind of freaky. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> okay, come on back up. So normal for extension is 0 to 45, and he has 0 to 80. Uh, wow. So when I said freaky, I kind of meant it. It's, it's, like, it's like an owl. So, <laughs> what owl will be? <laughs> so for flexion and extension, the landmarks are exactly the same. Okay. Now I'm going to have you do this. Okay. Sit down here with your feet hanging out. That's not as bad. That's not bad. Just open your mouth a second. Huh? <laughs> yeah, like, just because it warms enough people can see it. For lateral flexion, what I need to do is give the instructions first. So I'm going to be using my goniometer to measure your neck motion from behind you. So when I ask you to tilt your head to the left, what I want you to do is get your left ear to touch your left shoulder, keeping your nose straight ahead. So I don't want you to do this. Keep your nose straight ahead and just do this. The other big cheater thing I see is this. Okay. So what I want you to do is just this when I say left. And then I'll have you do this when I say right. Okay? So now my landmarks are going to be that the stationary arm, again, is going to be perpendicular to the floor. My axis is going to be C7, okay? And then this is going to bisect his head, all right? So I'm going to have it in this position. Now, Scott, what I'd like you to do is bring your left ear to your left shoulder, keeping your nose pointing straight forward. Go ahead. And this is where it gets a little ridiculous. It's clearly easier than in different places. And go ahead and relax. Fine. So that's 0 to 34 degrees. So let's go in the other direction. To your right. Oh, come back up for me. Nice crack. That's good for blocks. <laughs> Keep your nose pointing straight ahead, okay? You went a little crooked on me. Okay, come on back up. So 25 degrees. But did you see that was really bad quality of motion? <laughs> I know. You're an excellent model. It would be quite boring if you just let everything look great, right? And we do the EP one. All right, so that's how you do lateral flexion. For rotation, is someone on a non rolly chair? Yes. Notice how I didn't like push tables over to get to you? I'm just not used to that. I'm going to come down here. Oh. Away, aside, so she did so it finally. Yeah. <laughs> Chairs were flying, the table went. <laughs> <laughs> we're all like, who's she going after? It was yeah. right for him. Do you like midway? Yep. I want your back off the edge here. Oh, really awesome. So, with Scott's height, uh, for some of you, you would have you would have to stand on a stool behind him to get high enough. Okay. So for this one, I'm going to have you look straight ahead again for me. 
So his natural tendency is to live to his right. Okay, he's not quite straight. So you want me to go Sunday? Well, uh, yeah, ideally it would be that you would do that, but I have no hope for you. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I told you I was a little off today, so my humor is off apparently as well. Okay, yeah, I know. Nothing like building people up. <laughs> You're screwed up and there's no hope for you. The stationary arm is going to be parallel to a horizontal line that you would draw through the acromia. Okay? The um, moving arm is going to follow his nose from up top. So I'm going to be in this position. Now, this time, Scott, and I apologize I didn't show you before I got lined up back there. What I'd like you to do this time is when I ask you to rotate left, you're going to move your head this way without tilting it at all. Good, so you're going to look over your left shoulder. And come on back, and now when you go to your right, have you look over your right shoulder? Good. And what you're doing perfectly is you want to try to keep your chin level as you do those, as if your chin was on a table and you're just sliding back and forth. Okay? All right, so let's have you look left for me, please. Very nice. I'm trying to make up for that credit comment before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, go ahead and relax. You're not really buying it, are you? If you can see my face, like, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so he's zero to 60 there. There are no norms for rotation. So the norms for flexion, extension, and lateral flexion are all zero to 45, which is great, right? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> so, um, and rotation doesn't have any norms, and you'll see a lot of variability. Okay, so now let's say, yeah. Um, oops, sorry. Oh. I'm just going to take your head and put you there. Are you okay there? Yep. Does that feel uncomfortable? No, it just feels like I'm leaning to the left. Okay. I think that's interesting. Do you think that's interesting? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to have you look over your right shoulder, keeping that chin on your imaginary table. Go ahead. Hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and we're going to so that time we went at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 62. Okay, so I think he was pretty symmetrical. I think he was 0 to 60 on the other direction. Mm -hmm. So that's how you would measure all six directions of movement with a goniometer. So I'd like you to all go and practice that. Now, don't sit people on the table for rotations. You're going to want to have people down here. Depending on how you're partnered up, you still may need to get up on a stool so that you can see the goniometer and see the nose. Okay, thank you. Yeah.